just from tonight, what we did you come to the session we delivered? Um, who came to the session we delivered it to NDFA? NDFA, did you, were you there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this? It's a bit more meat on the bones, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Tonight, what what do you think from tonight you could take forward from your point of view? What's your? I think uh, your ideas on expanding membership we can do, and I think the business directory is doable. It is doable, isn't it? It's not fresh air, is it? I mean, the, the, the good part about the business directory is you do it this year and you're only going to have to tweak it a bit the following year. Most of it's done. It sort of rolls over, mate. Yep. It rolls over. What about you, mate? What do you think of tonight? What do you think of tonight? <coughs> Yeah, some good ideas on the um, finance <coughs> and the volunteers. Yeah. Yeah, but volunteers that's yeah it's a really, really important. <coughs> you're structuring your people here, you Keith. Take a bit of pressure off the ones that are doing it. It ends up extending the lifespan of those key people because they, you got a better model. What about you, mate? Good. Any, you're, you said you, you're still a player. Yeah, yeah. You're just trying to get a uh, kick. Yeah, tonight was a fairly <laughs> big learning curve for me, but um, yeah, I thought it was all very informative. And um, I think there's plenty of positives the club can take out of it. Yeah. So we'll come back to you with that, how to, how to move forward. And then, you know, it gives you that roadmap we talk about. What about you, mate? How did you find? Yeah, very interesting. I've so been mixed up in other clubs as well. And, um, yeah, just out of what you said tonight, we've, I've uh, been a president but never sort of gone on a business plan or anything like that. Mm. Over the years, you just sort of go with the flow type of thing and... Hard off the back, so it's mate. What it's you been a lot of learning actually from that. Yeah. And the thing is, remember I said earlier, there's not one sport in Australia that's educating our volunteers on how to run a club. You're virtually left to fend for yourselves. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You're virtually left to fend for yourselves, yeah. and good intentioned people. So our role is to really narrow your focus, which are these issues here, and four or five revenue items. That's it. What about you, mate? How'd you? What yeah, I mean, it's, we've probably as a board and the club, we've got more of the, the ideas, but it's now more the how and doing of these ideas, putting them in practice. Mate, can I, I couldn't, to be honest, it's the first time someone's answered like that and it's exact, a lot of, we're about the how. We teach you how. The doing. How to run it, goods and, how, how to run it, go to the education. So that's a perfect example. What about you, mate, at the back? Well, the increase in membership, obviously you're going to have a massive flow on throughout the whole club. And if we can get the target of 300 members, you only need a small percentage of them extra coming to the game, so you're gonna build up your, your crowds and you And they, they remember they bring their mates, they That's buy a right. couple of beers, they pay their eight bucks. And if we invest in our core business, which is winning some games, we're gonna create even more turnover because people want to have- And why, and why are we here? Experience. Why are we here? We're not even here. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, mate? How do you? What do you think of tonight? Yeah, no, it's been good. It's really uh, we've got some <coughs> new ideas up that uh, I sort of wasn't aware of, and uh, the electronic scoreboard. Uh, I didn't realise that was such a uh, big revenue earner, and I think that's something we've really got to work on. Mm. The membership, yes, yeah, so I can sort of help with the database there a bit and uh, get some old players back into it. But, uh, but we do have to invest in our players. In your core business. Or else we won't. Yeah, we that's won't why we're here. And the more you win, remember I said the more you win, the less you pay. Right. But you want to, when you win a, was it five, two, three hundred? Just got a ring, good ring to it, Pete? Five, two, two. Five, two, two, three hundred. I like it. Five <laughs> years. Yeah, terrific. How about yourself? Thanks. Yeah, I'm very excited about um, putting all this to practice and um, seeing what we can come. 12 months and how far we can go and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Terrific. Yeah. In culture. Thanks yeah. for bringing that up. Because yeah. it's so important. Yeah. What about you, mate? Yeah, really good. See, um, just to see how to really make a few things happen. That's probably been the thoughts and ideas of a lot of people in this room. But just to really finish a few of those off, I think it's really good. Yeah. Um, fresh air sponsorship sort of went down really well. I think, yeah. <laughs> Out there trying to get sponsors from the gym you, are, you, yeah. you, you are trying to sell fresh air, so that was very, very good. Yeah, how about yourself? Oh, it's been very informative. I came to learn, and yeah, I'm looking forward to making the club more sustainable for future generations. Yeah, and that's 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 where I think if I give the tip out tonight, 
look at that structure. You don't have to do all of it straight away, but pick out some key gaps, yeah? And just put people, some people are in the red boxes, the green or the black. There's no, you know, how about yourself? Uh, probably the revenue side of it was the most interesting for me. I think that having, knowing you've got that consistent revenue stream and all the different streams coming in gives you the confidence to reinvest in the football, in the core business. It's the confidence, yeah. That's this number one. Yeah. Having a sustainable model. So if you can get those three or four initiatives and get people's focus and hold them accountable a little bit. I call it soft accountability, by the way, because they're not getting paid, are they? Sometimes it's like having a part-time job, but you don't get paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, mate? Uh, yeah, all the idea's been really good. I think we've had them in, in our heads for a, for a while now, but now we can take the next step, I reckon. Yeah, yep. So we'll start, sign up for the president. Was this any? You missed the first session, didn't you, Cam? That we delivered it into. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. <coughs> you asked for it to be put back. Yeah, I, I tried to get it postponed. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have enough sway at the uh, association level, but he sent the mugs along. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, Pete, who else went? Anyone else in there? No. Uh, uh, there's a couple of fellas. Tom Owen Skippy went, and they're on holidays, aren't they? They're on holidays. It's did I do a good sell job? Did I pay them well? Yeah, you did. Yeah. I, I think it's. Um, it's, it's something that I've probably tried to focus on a bit around the structure um, of the club over the last sort of five years while I've been president. Knowing what the right structure is, is always a difficult thing. I think we're, we've probably got um, a few good parts that, we've, that we don't have to change too much. There's certainly some parts that after tonight's session that yeah, I can see that we need to sort of tweak up a bit, but yeah, yeah it's it's been good, and I suppose what we've probably got to be careful of, we don't try and do it all next year. We try to other, otherwise, you blow, yeah, we we could go backwards. Yeah, so that's why <clears throat> we're going to focus on these few operational issues and those three or four revenue initiatives. That's it, and we'll keep it that simple. Uh, it's and, and it's hopefully, it's a really good point. Not no, you... we're gonna we're gonna try and do two or three of them and make sure that they're done properly before we try and do yeah. rather, rather than try and do six of them next year. We're mm. gonna do the... the great thing. What you're doing is the timing. It's October. Yep. Spend the next few. You know, hopefully by February you'll have all your sponsorship packages, January packages. You'll have your membership packages. You'll have. Your... You, you get your structures right. Hopefully you start getting your finance and but holding people to, to account. Um, and that's it. And, um, but it's really, um, as I said, I admire everyone who is, who, who is able to put back in community. Not everyone can. Not everyone can, because they're, you know, they're balancing that, the different aspects of their life, whether it's family or, or their work. And you know, particularly there's not too many Committees is more under 40s here than I normally see, which is great, because um, even the president's under 40, which is terrific. But um, because there, people have usually got other priorities, but it is when it gets in your bones, community. Sort of sometimes you think it's a bit of a curse <laughs> in the nice way, yeah. but because we, we all want to do our bit, don't we? And that's why I'm still involved. Um,